everybody. Welcome to Sona Awareness. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. I got a few things I want to talk about. And it's regarding Nick Cannon, guys. We all know um, a little bit of Nick Cannon's history. He was married to Mariah Carey from 2008 until 2014. When they got divorced around 2016. We know him um, for being in the media for... Um, being an actor, um, being involved in movies such as like Drumline and being also into music. He had a couple of music videos, um, a couple of um, popular songs. And he was also is a producer for the show Wild Wild and Out. You know, it's a show about um, rap battles and pranks. And I think this show was out. I can't remember the date that it came out, but it's been out for a long time. And it's kind of interesting because it was for um the youth and his show basically um basically the way they do pranks and stuff on YouTube now kind of reminds me of how his show was um you know doing pranks and different things like that but um he also um was on Nickelodeon and he has a few health issues he has a um has had a history with his kidneys and lupus but what he what I want to talk about today is um regarding the fact that he does have seven kids so congratulate congratulations to him on that um he did um recently have i believe about four kids this year so I want to jump into that guys um I know he divorced from Mariah Carey again. And they didn't seem like they have had any drama from the divorce. You know, you never heard um, any claims of abuse about him or him having any legal actions, um, you know, filed against him um, or, you know, from the all the children that he's had by different women since, you know, he's been with, um, you know, divorced from Mariah Carey. You really didn't hear any drama from the women that he has, you know, been impregnating and all of those things. But I am just a little concerned about him, you know, regarding a lot of the decisions he's making with all of these kids out of wedlock. It just, um, it just comes off as, um, that he's living this toxic lifestyle. You know, he, um, he said, quote, um, I'll never be in a relationship again, you know, never get married again, you know, unless it's. Mariah Carey and um he just doesn't want to answer to anybody and I thought that was pretty interesting he said that he'll never be in a relationship again never get married again unless it's Mariah Carey so it seems like there um you know was some damage done to him you know as far as whatever the relationship was you know um we don't know much um about Mariah Carey's um you know relationships in in detail we didn't know she was married before and um she had a few she had several relationships you know uh, I know you know she was um a multi-platinum seller selling singer and you know had so many hit songs and music and um it just seems that um her relationships have never you know hit like you know like the drama or you know it's never been out like in in a real negative way it's just you know she's been in different relationship diff, different dating partners but there is something that i thought was interesting in her history they said that she had um some mental health issues um she a few years a few years ago she had a breakdown they had to call a psychiatrist to her home because she thought that prince Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston were coming to our home for dinner and you know all of these um singers are deceased and she did mention that she does have um bipolar she um been, has been diagnosed with it years ago but she's you know she's held it inside I mean held it you know from the public but she mentioned that she decided to get help like I think last year recently so I thought that was pretty interesting just noting that there were some mental health issues with her and um just as far as how Nick Cannon is you know um in these you know situations with women I don't call them relationships I guess I call them situationships and he you know has this 
you know, um, I guess agreement with them. I don't know. <laughs> agreement that, you know, they're going to have kids, but it's not going to be a serious, you know, commitment or anything. And, you know, I just personally believe I'm a little old school that that is just toxic, you know, just for the children's sake. Um, now, I know we can debate about this and go with so many different arguments, you know, about it because um, there are, you know, marriages that don't work out and they do fail. So you do have to live in, you know, different households and, and things of that nature. But those are things that, you know, that are out of the hands of the, you know, it's kind of out of out of your hands and you don't really go into a relationship like that thinking that it, it's not going to work out, but it doesn't work out. And then you go through the divorce and things of that nature, you know, but um, in this situation with him, he seems to, you know, get women pregnant, just different women. It's no, um, you know, his, uh, some of his kids are born like, you know, in uh, months apart from each other, you know, and it just seems like, that's his, you know, I guess that's the way he wants to live his life, you know. Um, I guess that's what, you know, what's making him, you know, happy or satisfied for the moment. And I just have to, you know, wonder about the females, like, you know, as far as them, if they are really okay with this agreement, like if they have any feelings for him whatsoever, or, you know, if they just simply in it just because of, um, you know, financial resources, you know. <laughs> It's, it's, you know, a lot of people have had, you know, have heard about situations like this, you know, dating for money or, you know, being, you know, intimate with someone just for money or, and just, you know, this, what they call a baby mama culture. It's just, it's kind of sad because, um, marriage is kind of like in the back seat now of days for a lot of people. And it just seems like, you know, what Nick Cannon is doing is, um, you know, cause he is, uh, I guess what it considered millennial and this generation does, you know, follow him, you know, he has millions of followers and just to think that this is, you know, okay. You know, this type of behavior is okay. And this generation is not okay because the kids are, you know, they have so many siblings. I don't know what the relationship like is with all of the women that he has kids by, if they have a relationship with each other or if their kids have a relationship with each other. I mean, I don't, you know, know, but I know that can be very difficult with so many different households and so many different children. And, um, it just, it just doesn't seem like a good situation. It seems like the kids need both parents and at least to try, you know, at least to, you know, be in the same household to try to figure it out. You know what I mean? They just never even had that chance because it just wasn't that type of situation. He just has, you know, babies all over the place. You know, if you want to, I guess, I guess not work and be taken care of, go to Nick Cannon. I'm pretty sure he'll get you pregnant, you know, but it's just, I have to wonder if the women, you know, honestly, you know, are they okay? You know, in my opinion, they need therapy. They need to figure out what their goals are in life. You know, they need to talk about what they really want for their children. Do they really just not want to get married or, you know, be in a, a, a healthy partnership? Is it just, you know, what is it? What made them um, anti-marriage? You know, what, I mean, think about what are the pros of being married to someone, you know, you can be in the same household. You can um, parent together. You can see the, your kids can see mommy and daddy together and you can do things. You can kiss your kids, um, you know, kiss them sleep at night and, you know, put them to bed and tuck them in at night. You know, they can see that love that you have for their, their parent, you know, and you can do family things together. But when there's different households split up, like how he has it, with so many different kids, I mean, how can he even devote the time to really raise those kids? Cause you can't, they, I mean, he has so many, you know, it's no, he can be there, but he can financially provide to make sure they're in good schools and, you know, taken care of in, in a certain way and live a certain lifestyle. But, um, you know, again, I want to know, do the women really, uh, or are they really okay with this? Are they really okay with not wanting him? They have no feelings whatsoever for him. Are they really okay with just him just coming in and out of their bedrooms? Like, you know, 
you know, just okay? Are they not going to ever move on with any other men? Or do they, are they ever going to consider marriage in the future? Or is this just, you know, the end all be all for them? You know, I honestly think that um, Nick Cannon, in my opinion, you know, he does have a lot of narcissistic tendencies. I'm not a doctor, but he just seems, you know, toxic, like he's damaged goods. You know, whatever happened in that marriage with him and Mariah Carey, because we never heard anything about him, you know, in 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 bad situations or in a toxic situation before, you know, his marriage to Mariah Carey. And we never heard anything bad while they were married. We never heard any abuse or anything. It's just afterwards, he just decided to live this lifestyle. So I think some men do go and, you know, um, they are like broken from certain certain relationships. You know, I don't know since um Mariah Carey does have a um did I mention that she has a um yeah, she does have a bipolar diagnosis and I don't know, you know, bipolar is if you've ever been around a bipolar person, they are up and down with moods and it's very difficult with people like that. So I don't know if that's something that, you know, caused their divorce and maybe he just, you know, just went into this this mode where he didn't want any other relationships. Now I understand, you know, in some ways, if you say marriage is not for you, that may be how you feel. But if you had therapy or some healing, you could find a, get to the root of the problem. What was the problem? Why didn't it work out? It doesn't mean that you can't try again. You know, just because you fail at something doesn't mean that you can't try again, no matter how tough it is or how difficult it was. But it does seem that whatever happened in that marriage, you know, it damaged him in some ways. And he just decided to, you know, live a kind of a a toxic lifestyle. And, you know, I just, you know, I just don't believe that these women, all of them are going to really be in that agreement for, you know, whatever it is with them having kids and no relationship or nothing. You know, I don't think that's going to be something that they're going to be happy with forever. You know what I mean? I think they're going to want more at some point or from somebody else. So those are my thoughts about Nick Cannon. He's out here kind of wilding out. (laughs) So y'all just, um, yeah, tell me what you think about him. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm not a doctor or anything like that, but he does have some narcissistic tendencies. It does come off as toxic and manipulative and, you know, um, kind of, kind of grandiose that he, you know, just has all these kids. It seems like having the children is, children is his source of supply, just, you know, the attention and, you know, all of these things like that. But, you know, I, I don't know if he's a full blown narc or whatnot, but he, he needs to get it together because it's, you know, different things going out here. And you don't want to be in a situation where your health is, you know, is at risk in that way, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. Just comment below and tell me what you think about this video, guys, and I will talk to you soon.